are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, black and white sports fans, it may be war. It may be war now because Stephen A. Smith has been called out for race baiting in sports. Now, if you guys remember, um, when was it? Probably like a week ago, Stephen A. Smith came out and said that uh, black head coaches were furious that LeBron James was doing a podcast with J.J. Reddick, who is now, by the way, the new head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. Funny how that works, guys. Funny. And Darvin Ham definitely was on the hot seat. And Stephen A. came out and specifically said black coaches called him and were furious that LeBron was doing that podcast. Yes, Stephen A. brought in black coaches. Now, Stephen A. always brings up race. He does. Stephen A. is entertaining on TV, but there's no doubt about it, guys. He does race bait. He always has to remind you as a black man. He's always telling you that uh, black people are telling him to say this, say that on ESPN First Take all the time. ESPN has definitely brought race into sports. Race has no place in sports, man. None. But the media does this. They bring up race all the time. And Stephen A is getting called out on this, guys, by Doug Gottlieb. Used to be on ESPN. Now over at Fox. So let's get into this, guys, because Stephen A. Smith is going to lose it. He's furious. Let's get into it. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We appreciate the support. You guys can support us on Locals as well. Check the link in the description. Here we go, guys. Doug Gottlieb unloads on Ray Spader, Stephen A. Smith. This is honestly pure evil. So after all these years, man, Stephen A. is getting called out on his race baiting. Check this out. Doug Gottlieb accused Stephen A. Smith of race baiting for reporting black NBA coaches condemn J.J. Reddit's podcast with LeBron James. Last week, Smith questioned the timing of James and Reddick launching their basketball-centric Mind the Game podcast during the NBA season, particularly while Darvin Ham was on a hot seat for the Lakers. Smith then follow, followed that up by claiming he heard from black NBA coaches who took issue with the podcast. Recently, Godley ripped Smith on his uh, Fox Sports radio show for Ray Spading. Quote, let me state this really carefully, Godly begin. Stephen A. Smith is a race baiter. He is disgraceful saying that on national TV. Disgraceful. J.J. Reddick and LeBron James are clearly friends. They have a relationship. They have mutual respect for one another. The only one who's making it out to be a racial thing is Stephen A. Smith. He is creating this. This is honestly pure evil. That's what bad people do. This is just as bad as the perception that President Trump stoles the white nationalist flame. Same thing. There's no difference. No difference. None. Making it out to be somehow a racial thing. How could you do a podcast with J.J. Reddick? Because they're friends and he respects him. LeBron James is also friends and respects Ty Lue, who coached him to an NBA championship. That one's okay because Ty Lu, former NBA player, is black. J.J. Redick, former NBA player, is white. How is that any different? You're not allowed to be friends with a white person? Question mark. Yeah, Gottlieb said that. And now Stephen A. is triggered. Let's go ahead, man, and... um. And listen to uh, Stephen A. Smith. This is actually on his um his uh, podcast on YouTube. Let's play it. I mean, what's wrong with saying one plus one equals two? 
It's not a crime to point that out. It's not a crime. But uh, some dude by the name of Mr. Doug Gottlieb, most of y'all might not know him. I mean, we, it, those of us in the business know him because we respect our colleagues. But the public, in terms of your support form ratings and things of that nature, you might not know him. It's probably why he brought up my name in the fashion that he did. I hope he gets him the clicks and the recognition and the numbers that he's looking for. Because he damn sure hasn't been showing he's getting them any other way, but I digress. This dude, Doug Gottlieb, for Fox Sports Radio. And by the way, before I even go any further, let me get this out of the way. I used to work at Fox. My relationship with Jim Rome goes back to my days of working at Fox. My relationship with Skip Bayless goes back to us working at Fox. Contributing to shows like Jim Rome's The Last Word and other shows. Rob Parker, one of my best friends on the planet, works on Fox Sports Radio. Christopher Broussard, one of my best friends, works on Fox Sports Radio. Colin Cowherd, who is an elite talent in this business. Somebody I have profound respect for and wish was still at ESPN, if I'm being totally honest with you. That man works at Fox Sports Radio. So I, I've got history with folks at Fox Radio and nothing but glowing things to say. I just saw a former executive there, Steve Tello. Mr. George Greenberg, miss you, buddy. I hope you're well. David Lee. The list goes on and on. Don't get me started with Howie Long, Terry Bradshaw. You understand? And the rest of the crew. I know them all. I got a lot of friends over at Fox Sports Radio. Make no mistake about it. So this ain't about Fox Sports Radio or throwing any shade on them. I'm talking specifically about Mr. Gottlieb, whose name I never mention. Never. I don't dislike him. I don't like him. I don't really know him. I don't have much use for him. Just like he apparently has no use for me. But I never discussed him. He has said some BS over the years. He says some dumb shit over the years. I've never brought it up. I don't bother him. But this guy goes on his show on Thursday accusing me of being a race baiter for reporting that black NBA coaches condemn J.J. Reddick's podcast with LeBron James. But before I go any further, let me quote what Doug Gottlieb said. Quote, Stephen A. Smith. Remember, this is him bringing up my name, y'all. He started this. Stephen A. Smith is a race baiter. He is disgraceful saying that on national television. Disgraceful. J.J. Reddick and LeBron James are clearly friends. They have a relationship. They have mutual respect for one another. The only one who's making it out to be a racial thing is Stephen A. Smith. He is creating this. This is honestly pure evil. That's what bad people do. So I'm a bad person now. <laughs> this is what bad people do. Oh, he doesn't stop there, ladies and gentlemen. This is just as bad as the perception that President Trump stokes the white nationalist flame. Same thing. There's no difference. No difference. None. So me, I want y'all to understand the magnitude of what Doug Gottlieb just said. Doug Gottlieb just compared my saying that black coaches who have called me had a problem with the podcast. And I'll get into that in a second. But Doug Gottlieb is comparing that and equating that to Donald Trump. Watch this. And white nationalists. So when the mayhem took place in Charlottesville, Virginia, and a young lady was killed, and we had folks out there marching and white supremacists making themselves conspicuous, and Donald Trump goes over the airwaves and say, there were good and bad people on both sides. That's the equivalent of this. So right there, he's trying to, he's still running with that lie that Trump was uh, talking about um, neo-Nazis. And that's been debunked. Seven years ago, Trump was actually talking about uh, Charlottesville. And he specifically said that I'm not talking about neo-Nazis. They should be condemned 
Totally. Yeah. But um, Stephen A. getting called out by uh, Doug Godley for race baiting. Oh, no, he couldn't handle it, man. He couldn't handle it. So now he explodes on his podcast and melts down. Now, Stephen A. Right here. Quote, this is what he said. Numerous coaches, black coaches, called me expressing how they took issue with that podcast taking place. Now, he could have just left it as coaches call me expressing concern. But he said black. Because I believe he wanted that perception that black coaches were furious that LeBron James is doing um that podcast with J.J. Reddick because Darman Ham on a hot seat and he's black. Yeah. Steve, Stephen A., he will do that, man. He will do that. Remember, Molly also said, is it because Darman Ham's black? Now, Stephen A. backtrack on that. But he put that perception in there, man. He put that in there. Stephen A's been doing this for a while, man. For a while. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.